Uh, sleight of hand. Start off with sleight of hand. I think we're in such a good spot here, I'm not worried at all. <laughs> I, just as I say that, the opponent hears us. Like, it makes sense, you know? It adds up. What's up and welcome everybody to a new Murders at Carl of Manor standard video. And in this video, it's time to look back at one of my most successful decks and also one of my absolute most favorite decks to play, Blue White Mentor. Um, and this deck revolves around Monastery Mentor, a 3-mana 2-2 human monk creature with prowess. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, create a 1-1 white monk creature token with prowess. And then another important creature in this deck is the Holly Jin, whose power is equal to the number of instants in the graveyard and sorceries. Um, it's got four toughness and instant sorcery spells you cast cause one less to cast. So kind of what the idea is of this deck is that you aggressively want to put Mentor or Jin in the graveyard with cards like Consider, that's reveals one, Otherworldly Gaze, that's reveals three, and even the Chart of Course that draws two cards and then you discard a card unless you attack this turn. So the ideal turns the goal of this deck is to aggressively like i said put the mentor and the gin in the graveyard and then bring them back with helping hand or recommission um because then you get these three drops super quickly and then ideally you do something like you can do this as fast as like turn two where turn one you cast otherworldly gaze put monastery mentor in the graveyard and surveil helping hand to the top if you don't have it in your hand on turn two, you play your second land, you cast Helping Hand, bring back the Mentor, and then you play a Sleight of Hand or a Consider or, or any other like one mana spell that you have, and you start growing your board with Mentor tokens, Monk tokens, because that's the whole goal of the deck. And eventually you just flood the board, you protect your cards, and you just go crazy. Or the other thing that you could do is just make a huge chin and attack with that. Um, it's got a lot of like in oh not a whole lot of interaction in there but there are some make disappears in here there are some like get lost in here to like help you out the marshes are super important too to like protect your creatures but then again you do have so much like recursion anyway so even if they get removed you can just bring them back like this deck is super explosive it is a 19 land deck so it you know the mulligans can be a little bit awkward but you definitely also have to make sure that you mulligan to a playable hand like you do want to have the early surveils, the early card draw, so that you can like have that explosive start that you're actually looking for. Um, but once you get that, it feels like unstoppable, really. It's just so good. This is also like the one deck that I got like seven wins with during the metagame challenge. That video is actually up somewhere uh, on the YouTube channel if you look back for it. But um, yeah, I'm a huge fan of this deck. I still think it holds up incredibly well. The games that I've played with this deck so far i've been undefeated it hasn't been many but uh yeah we did not drop one game so mentor is still very much alive let's get in some gameplay but before we get started don't forget to like and subscribe it really helps the channel out and you don't have to miss out on any of my brews especially uh with the new set thunder junction coming up so i have a lot of cool things planned for that so make sure you subscribe and uh, i'll see you in the next video this video is brought to you by ultimate guard Ultimate Guard provides you with premium protection for your trading cards like their incredible katana sleeves which are my absolute favorite for saving up my magic decks. Ultimate Guard has everything you need to keep your magic cards safe, secure and stylish. If you're interested in getting the best sleeves on the market, make sure to use my link in the description below. We got a opponent called 666 Angel 666. That was my old MySpace name. What a coincidence. I don't know what the odds of that are. Mm, I mean, the helping ends are where I want to be at, but I don't need white mana first, so I'll keep digging. Surprising little X's. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I should have actually been like 666 underscore angel underscore 666. That would have been all right. Oh my god, they're playing Phoenix Jig. They really are me. This is weird. They are really me, for real. Hulk champing. I need to... <laughs> yeah. Yo, exactly. Exactly. 
Bestie, if you don't give me white land, we're gonna we're gonna be fighting here. Or any land in general. But ideally white. Mm, you got away with that one. You got away with that one. The uh, gin, I guess I can try. Oh hi Ivy. Do you wanna come back up? Come here then. If you want. Come on, Ive. Sitting there blinking. Ivy. Come then. She's in like princess mode and wants me to pick her up. Alright. Hi, girly. Oh my god, you are falling. There she is. It's a rat. Yeah, I don't have a good feeling about this. Um, I might just let it go through for once. Feels like they have a lightning strike or something. She looks thrilled, yeah. <laughs> She's just really excited to be here, you know? She's hyped. Just trying to figure out how I want to go about these things. I think just like growing my gin and seeing if I can uh, win the game with that is pretty reasonable. We could like hit them pretty well with the gin, so. Mm. Can you like see her? <laughs> Silly. Ooh. You smell good. You had a bath or something. Okay. Mm. As long as I hold up that march, I'm chilling. Just gotta protect the gin. The best rat. Yeah. <laughs> She's cute. She can be cute. She can also be very annoying. Don't get a twisted Ivy. Still on the watch list. Alright, so I guess I'm gonna mill four cards and see what it gives me. Oh, I was just like saying how their like name is Iquilnik. <laughs> Great to hear that they have been thriving in the past. You know? Excited to hear them thrive. So what are we going to do here then? They definitely have a way to interact with this. Mm. Opponent showing great levels of patience. Prof's memory in this? It's... Mm, I don't know. I don't think that's how the deck kind of like wins though. Here. Oh yeah, like I'll uh, I'll find a way to still win this. Like I'm not worried about that. I have the marches and stuff that'll like protect and do what they need to do. So not too worried. Yeah, so they did have that. Sure.
Rolf's memory, the new <laughs> new Sawyer card, yeah. Looks like. Alright, I'm just gonna hit him with an excess uh two less gas for each color XL that way. Like yeah, it's gonna be an excess. I guess I could do like an excess four. Mm, I guess I don't really want to phase out the Phyrexian Horror, though. I could do an Excess 3. Sure. They would have to have double play with Fire in Hand to deal with my Jin. I think the odds of that are pretty damn low. Like, they've looked at 12 cards. Is it really double play with Fire? Like, three play with Fire's top 12? Like, there's no way, right? There we go. What is this? What are you gonna do? Like, why are you giving me this shit? No. Thank you. Do better. <laughs> do better, bestie. I mean, we got the helping hand, so I think I'm gonna try to... I don't know. Like, Pyro Performer is actually really good, but... Yeah, it make it kind of like being the only good part like that is uh the whole tip back for sure all right this could be a really really good hand if i can do helping hand bring back mentor spam like two spells i'm really chilling we could be doing a thing this thing is going crazy though phoenix stick is going crazy and going stupid um, helping hands. So let's bring back Mentor, and then, um, I could do, like, Smite and Blow. We'll see. Alright, so that's gonna be Smite on Squee. And then, um, Blow on Chick, I guess. Seems okay. Could you please chill? <laughs> Phoenix Chick does not know how to chill, I fear. Like, that's bestie. Anyways, we got a mentor going now. This is how we thrive. Helping hand. Nah, I'd rather have the Ottawara and not... You know, kill myself with pain lands. Seems like an okay strategy. Wee, <laughs> wee, all these mentors. Wee, wee. I uh, I don't mind to consider on top. I guess. Uh, do I keep it going? Sure, why not? Triggers, yay! All the triggers in the world. I'll take the uh I'll do the consider into the gin. That seems alright. For the next turn. Alright. Seven life to eleven life. Three lands. Four lands. Thing is, like I am kind of vulnerable to okay, I didn't say it. I will draw that. I was thinking, like, I am kind of like the way I played. I did put myself to a oh, shit. I might get wrecked by end festivities, but <laughs> I'm alright. I'm chilling. All right, easy, easy. I was never worried. Nice. Deck is still so good. Like, it's just so nice. Once you get it all like set up, you're just really doing great. The only thing about Mentor is that sometimes, like, the opening hands that you get dealt are so bad. They're really not good. I go Greed. There we go. Do we get to keep the Rook? I would assume you get to keep the Rook. There's no way they, like, rob you there, right? That'd be brutal. Alright, I guess because I'm seeing an island, I'm supposed to keep that. 
Why not sleight of hand ever consider? You play both. <sighs> well, well, well. If it isn't aftermath analyst. Um, this is really tricky. Because on one hand, I do want to counter that. On one hand, I also want to counter Nissa. But Analyst is obviously how they get their infinite lands back. So I guess I'm countering it. God, I have like Ivy on my lap for like one second. And like my eyes are just itching like crazy. I love aller allergies. Love them. Why I have a pet where I'm, what I'm allergic to, that I'm allergic to. I don't know. That's a mystery. Cringe Island. <laughs> yeah. Can hold the prankster. I got caught. No, it's true. I was told that, you know, they don't lose much hair. Meanwhile, everything is hair. You can all, like, Shade Libby for that. She tricked me. Like, I, I don't know. She really, like, Libby really just convinced me that Ragdoll somehow, like, leaves less hair than other cats. I'm just a fucking clown. <laughs> like, it's, it's not even funny, because it's pretty damn sad, but yeah. I got, I got tricked. Bamboozled. I feel like there's too much cat propaganda on the internet. Seriously. Cat owners would like, just never admit that they have downsides, especially the ones that would post like content on the internet, I feel. <laughs> I like... Yeah, I don't know. I got, I got fucking bamboozled. <laughs> I, I really did. Oh well. All right, I'm playing Hottie Jin. Right, right. They would never share something negative. <laughs> Sad. All right. They have the, the polite mole. I respect that, though. They look so polite. Alright, Bessie, what are you gonna do? They're gonna probably have to find a way to cast a board wipe or something, uh... On us. God, so many, like, ropers tonight. Holy shit, you can tell, like, it's a... A holiday or something. These people are just taking 30 years to play their stuff out. Damn, they're really out here hitting me with the Vampire Vengeance. I didn't think they played that. Oh well. I move. <laughs> Usually a one-off. Alright. Alright, I have them on a pretty good clock here, so we'll see. Some days you get roped so much makes the game literally unplayable like it's bad. I mean, that, well, like, what was it? When we were playing that Is It Artifact deck, like, that opponent literally had, like, fucking eight minutes longer than us. <laughs> eight minutes of us just sitting there. Nah, things are really not miserable. It's just, like, this World Soul Rage deck um, definitely does try to keep a bunch of shit in check. So, if you don't have your respect for it, you might have a miserable time. Yeah, like, there's things that you can do to improve your matchup against them, for sure. Like, you're definitely not uh, hopeless or anything. Yeah, like, I got my flankers and stuff. Like, the deck is quite vulnerable. It just demands a lot of respect. And that could feel a bit frustrating, because sometimes you just want to do your own thing. But, yeah. 
Unfortunately. Like, I can just slam make disappear on this aftermath analyst. I have to get lost for the Nissa still. Like, I'm. Um, I can see. I need to stop putting, like, some stops on my upkeep here. I don't wanna. Oh, yeah. Like, standard is in a pretty, pretty good spot, in my opinion. So, can complain. All right, let's see if we can get some helping hand value. Works for me, man. Works for me. I'll draw into it. Main inks. Helping hand, haughty gin. And all of a sudden, we can be gamers. Maybe. Sentinel of Lost Lore managed to exile their graveyard and tuck their virtue from the adventure center to their library for all for three mana. I felt amazing. Oh, wow! I felt like Sentinel of the Lost Lore has always been, like, underplayed. That's really cool you got that value. Nice. Not this shit. Oh, I want it all. I'll put one in a grave. I don't have card draw right now. It feels bad. Okay. Wait, you didn't get of uh, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? They didn't. You no. Know. They just did it to draw cards? Alright, that is very much girl boss. I was really not expecting that. I was like, you're gonna just like remove my gin. I need to come up with something. The fuck? <laughs> wow. Alright, I respect that. Very brave. Or maybe they didn't understand how ill time explosion worked. I don't know. They seem like somewhat new with the deck, but. I'll take it. <laughs> Disrespecting Haughty Jin 2024. We should know better by now, people. Okay. Mm. You can tie it by the damage piece on L-Time Explosion because of the way it's worded. Oh, that's kind of gas. So what am I to do? Like, remove and response, I guess? I mean, this graveyard isn't even thick right now. But I'll do it. Yeah, I'm still gaming. Like, I'm still gaming. There we go. Doppelgang. Shigeki, the ultimate attacker. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, I'm chilling. Just have to catch a plane at seven. Mm -mm -mm. What do I want? What do I not want? Mm, don't want the land, I guess. Um, I mean, I could grow this gin, but I don't think I can ever get it to 14 power. So, I mean, Charter Core is card draw for one. I don't hate that. Eh, maybe I'll do it like this. Maybe I'll keep both of these on top. Then I'm gonna um, swing with Jin, half their life total, chart drawn to Prankster, hold the Prankster mill, hold the disdainful stroke, and then I think you can be okay. This is just gonna be like a haughty Jin uh, solo experience. Mm, okay, I don't vibe with that too much. See what we can do here. 
Um... I'm kind of like tempted to grab the march because I already have the stroke, so. So how much are they gaining back? Two? I mean, it's not too intense unless they mill here. They fucking did. Damn. Okay. They don't have a Nissan play, though. Helping hand, sure. I don't really answer what I'm trying to do right now, but it's okay. I think I kind of understand what they want to do. You're gonna try to like just gain enough life. There's one, two, three of those, so. There were like three tap lands, so they gained another three life. We just bring the gin higher. Anyways, we got there. This shows a lot of potential. Nice. A lot of potential. Yo, Creed, thank you so much for the nine. I appreciate it. Thank you. I'll we'll probably cast Consider first, I guess. I don't really know what I'm looking for. I just want to put a gin or a mentor in the graveyard here. No, I'm good on that. Just gotta aggressively look for it. Or like a untapped land or something. Okay, I can take that. Chart. Well, 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 I guess Marge. Stupid dinosaur. Deep cavern bat. Okay. Mm. They hit my what? My get lost. Get the fuck out of here. That's fair. I got a gin though. You know homies hate that bat. Nah, they sure do. They sure do. Alright, this could be good. Start with a sleight of hand, see what I get. Chart. Okay, I can at least draw a lot of cards then. I'm alright with that. Chart, of course. One mana, draw two. Let's go. Okay, that is not what I want to find in my 19 land deck. Okay. Still not getting there, Chief. <laughs> Right, okay, we're flooded. Rip. Unfortunate. At least I have a recommission and helping hand in my hand, so in case they remove the chin, I can bring it back. Yay. Gix? Gix could actually work with us right now. Kinda? Alright, buff this gin by 6 power challenge. Easy. This is uh, real unfortunate. Um... Oh, this is a banger too. Stop, stop with the lands. This is getting crazy. You gotta, you gotta chill. You gotta chill. Second job as a landlord. Yeah, no, like that was not the planning. Stop the count. Like, no more. I know you gotta cut down, too. Fucking sucks. Alright, at least I'm still alive. For now. Sahara Desert or Pacific Ocean. It's true. Opening hand. More like opening joke. Mulligan. More like Russian roulette with lands. Opponents curve out like they're on a leisurely cruise while I'm here crafting a raft out of my ex's lands. We're begging for just one more. <laughs> We're definitely in the crafting a raft era. Love that for me. If 
found it out here drawing about like 30 lands or 30 cards lands i hope cards definitely Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, step one, bring back mentor. Troll save us. Nah, shrew. She's gotta. I hope so. I really hope we got this. Mm. We're getting roped again. <laughs> Can everybody just collectively fucking stop roping? Like, is it because it's Easter? Like, what is going on? I mean, maybe, like, this could be a very important counter for them. I don't know. Like, please. Weekend arena is horrible. I mean, it's more like holiday arena, I guess. Pfft. Fucking hell. Anyways, I should have played the land out, I guess, huh? It's fine, though. I'll swing in here. They have to look at the bat. Um, and I'll recommission the prankster back. That's all right. Yeah. Chocolate affecting people's brains. <laughs> right. <laughs> Real. Real. Anyway, hands not looking great, but we have a very big threat in the form of the Holly Gen, so. Fake on seed, wow, okay. They had six cards on hand, and they, six cards on hand, six mana open, and they could not find a way out. All right, we will slay. I actually like playing the Demir deck. I actually really am a big fan of Demir mid. I really like Demir mid range because I just think that it's like quite an aggressive version, like an aggressive leaning mid range deck. It's capable of like a lot of, uh, a lot of good stuff. In my opinion. All right, they're going to snatch that and get lost. The rest into that classic. Alright, at least fortunate enough to pick up a prankster here. If you think people don't know, you can change your avatar or does a Johnny speak to them? <laughs> it's a really good question. I don't know. I feel like there has to have to be like three like a Johnny fans out there, I guess. I feel like there have to be some Ajani fans somewhere. But, like, it's crazy. I mean, they know exactly that I have my make disappear, so we have to be real careful here. Very mastermind. I feel like this is a form of bait. I'm gonna just take that. Tasha avatar, I mean, taste. Alright then. I could set up the Jin here. I don't hate that. And I can still hold up Smite. They might make the Spiritus thing my themselves, I guess, but... 
I have make spear up for one now. Else with smite. Chill. Yeah, I'm not losing to these masterminds right now, so I'm just gonna let it go through. Mm, I will probably just counter that. that. That goes after my graveyard. Like, I'm not a big fan of that. We uh, showed a good level of patience there. And it worked out, baby. <laughs> patience is key. It really is. All right, yeah, no. Like, five lands opener in my 19 land deck. I don't know about that. I don't hate it, though. Because I feel like the odds... I mean, we have a 25% chance of hitting a um, non land Or 25% chance of hitting a land. But... But... I don't know if this is aggressive enough anyway, so I think I gotta mull it. Alright, well... No words for that one. All or nothing. Pacific uh, Ocean, Sahara Desert. That's it. This hand's okay, though. This hand's alright. I'm gonna get hit by the Deep Gavin Bat. Here. All right, we'll see what they grab, I guess. Imagine how tired we are. Imagine how tired we are of it. <laughs> nah, like, we're good. We're good. We got this. Ant's not looking bad at all. That doesn't even have, like, a really great target here anyways. I would probably do the helping hand if I was them, but... Yeah, I should have said anything. All right, see, like this, like it's it's giving, it's giving what we needed to give. We put that helping hand on top. There we go. Play, get the mentor back. Hold up to consider. Life is good. Life is great. All of a sudden, we're in this. Vibing. I'm just gonna like try to go hard on this bat, I imagine. Ooh, Gix. Damn, they probably want to keep that on top. It does feel to me like they still have cut downs, and I don't like it, but also like I need to make some moves, you know. Don't do it, man. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's kind of impossible to play around that with uh what's given to us, I think, so. I don't hate a third land, actually. I'm not mad at that. Uh, this is tricky as hell. To get Gix soon. I don't know, man. This is very tricky. Airtight to remove Mentor first. Alright, shit. Yeah, at least that allows me to remove Gix then. Yeah, I just gotta make sure I have a land. Okay. Like, if we can shut down their card draw now, we put ourselves in a pretty okay position, at least. An appropriate level of respect. No, it's true. Definitely. Definitely. Alright, we let them attack. We might be able to take out air tie. So then it's gonna be remove Gix. I mean... The unfortunate thing is that they can keep grow growing the bet. Like, that's the part that sucks here. But I can just find a gin and, like, it could be okay. Oh, they're growing the siren. Alright. Diversifying their threats, I guess. All right, all right, all right. I'm not mad at that. Um, helping hand mentor. This is a game. This is a game. Okay, at least like the the, the map tokens were a little bit on our side. And again, it drew them cards, but also, like, at least our board's not growing, so. Counts for something. Ayo, hey, it's a get lost. A. Hey. 
Yo. Could be big. Hey, yo. Set removal. That's fine. A gin army. <laughs> I'm not mad at that though. I mean, this is truly a banger. Okay. I think they're just going to activate Mastermind, really. Imagine if the Zack had Brazen Borrower. Yeah, it makes you wonder if maybe it's like Pioneer playable, huh? Sure, I'll allow it. Let's see, it truly really makes you wonder if it's bio playable. I wonder. Air tie, air tie, air tie. Love vibing. It's gonna like get lost with that, I guess. Deny the life gain, get the uh, recursion back. I hope. Ah, shit, make spear. Yeah, that sucks. That really sucks. However, tapped out. Well, not really tapped out, but like one blocker. Oh, shit. Um... Could I try to win this game? Sure that I'm gonna try, I guess. I'm gonna try. It's holding up the make to spear. Nice. Oh my god, nice. Uh, counter. Gets me all the monk triggers. I think we did it, guys. Let's go! <laughs> wow, okay. I really didn't think we were gonna win that initially, but we did good. We did good. Alright, what the fuck is that? Not something that I want to keep, that is. This, however, is giving potential. It's a bit greedy. Very risky, but this is... Consider to keep in this deck at least, so we're gonna try. We're gonna hit them with the gaze. These gaze, they're trying to kill me. Alright, I need that. Um I don't know if I'm spell pierce here. I don't hate it though. Helping hand. Yeah, I don't think that you get the extra prowess trigger from the the casualty, but I also don't know exactly how casualty reads. It probably explains itself somewhere. You copy the spell, but this is copying trigger prowess. I don't know. I don't think so. Like, how does prowess read exactly? Like when you cast a non creature spell? Yeah, I don't think so. 
Depends if you cast the copy. Right. But I don't think you do that with casualty. Yeah, I don't think it tr double triggers. Then again. <laughs> then again. Do I need this pierce now? Like, I don't think I need that pierce. I'd rather find a land, exactly. It's good information. No, it's true, it's true. Like, asking the right questions, you know? Definitely. Asking the right questions. I pick the chart. Whoopi is directly, created directly on the stack, so it's not cast. I mean, it's casually, it really won't do anything. You can't copy it again. Right, right, right. All these keywords. Ivy, what are you walking around crying for? Cool. Anyway, uh, sleight of hand. Start off with sleight of hand. I think we're in such a good spot here. I'm not worried at all. <laughs> I just as I say that, the opponent hears us. Like it makes sense, you know. It adds up. <laughs> 